Hello guys. So welcome to Care Tutorials. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So as I'm coming up with a new tutorial on modeling a stylish wardrobe in 3ds Max. So I'm creating this tutorial on viewer's request. So let's go into file, view image file. So let's just take a reference of it. So I'll be taking a reference. So simultaneously other tutorials will also go on accordingly. So I have some of the references of the wardrobes. So we can take any of the references. Let's take this reference. So let's model this wardrobe. So very first of all, let's just resize this. So let's take a plane over here. Let's take a box. So I'll be just going over here. I'll slightly increase its length and width. Convert to editable poly. So select this edges. So again go into this. Select the vertices and slightly resize it. Slightly just push this up. Again select this. Select the vertices. Slightly scale it inside. In this way. So after that. So you can just select the polygons. So let's select the polygons over here. Select the and slightly just push it inside. Now, as you can see, we have something stylish handles over here. So I can just go into the side view and I can just take a line over here and I'll go into the selection, rendering, enabling viewport, reduce its thickness. I'll slightly just push it over here and this way till bottom. You can slightly reduce its thickness over here. Again, let's take a line, drag it over here. So again select this and let's just drag it down. So make a copy of it. Again shift and drag and duplicate it. So once you're done, so you can create it in the same patch also that is not a problem or you can create this individually that's totally okay so let's create it individually if you want you can go with that also not a problem so you can just select this select the polygons together and slightly just extrude it till here so you can just extrude it till here as you can see 
So now again I'll go into this and let's give two connects select the vertices and slightly scale it we can slightly just scale it or if you don't want to put loops right now so don't put the loops so we can just split this into two parts so very first of all I'll just put one swift loop over here so let's put one swift loop till here and now once you have put this over here I can even put one swift loop right onto the top of it much better so you can just select this polygons over here and if you want to delete this can just easily delete this so let's just delete it easily now you can just go into this go from to the top view and you can create something over here I'll just drag it till here so we can create something like this so we have a kind of a door over here so let's just create a door section over here so we can just create a door section can just place it over here in this way and you can slightly push this up over here scale it down so you can increase its width a bit over here and let's take one more copy of it I'll just take a copy of it and I can go into the hierarchy effect pivot only slightly I'll just shuffle it over here so select this go into this view again so again take a line over here slightly reduce this again take a line so drag it down Now I can just select this, I can slightly increase its thickness, select this all and let's group it, hierarchy, effect pivot only, push it till here. slightly rotate it that can be done before we rotate it uh, 
I'll just copy this, rotate it, ungroup it, delete this, select this, and group this handles over here, and let's just mirror it and push it over here. place it at the right place all right so once this is done you can again go down and I can just divide this so let's select this again go into the edges select the edges over here and let's give one connect at the center so again we can go into this and let's put one swift loop over here select the polygons and let's delete this so if you want I can put some loops over here before we delete this uh, we will put one swift loop at the bottom part and one loop over here now let's select this whole thing and let's delete it so select this and this all right So how you can do over here now is like if you want you can slightly extrude it but if you extrude it it is going to be in this way as you know so we are definitely working with a box that's the reason over here if we had created a single box then that would be also much better not a problem so again I'll go into this, I'll select this, I'll delete it, I'll again take a box. So if you're creating the doors over here, I'll just take a box again over here. I can place it in this way, hierarchy. So select this, this and this and let's group it select this reduce its height so I'll just shift and drag it I'll just place it in this way and I'll group this perfectly and go into the hierarchy and place it over here and I can just rotate the object from here that's it so you can make uh, multiple copies over here so let's again just mirror it copy in this axis drag it like this in this way So if you want to create this individually, you can go with that part individually. Also you have one option, if you want you can just give a shell modifier. So you can assign a shell modifier if required. If you want to give, so you can slightly assign a shell modifier if needed or else it's totally okay. If 
you want I can slightly increase the inner amount So you can create this individually also, this elements individually. much better can be done in this way because uh, we have this open doors so if you are utilizing this element in this way that can also be done so convert to editable poly select the vertices slightly push this up select this and let's give two connects drag this down click ok and now let's try with another method let's create a box right away over here okay. so I just increase it till here let's uh, convert this to editable poly so I am just splitting this till here just for the idea I'll give two connections over here. Let's give two connects. Let's click OK. The other way is like I'll put one connect over here. I'll put one. All right. So you can just split this part you can make this chambers so I have just split this up So again go into this and you can just delete this stuff and you can give shell a bit if required so you can slightly add a shell modifier so you can just convert to editable poly so you can just select this let's give two two connects over here select the vertices push this up so select this polygon this polygon and just give bridge so if you are giving shell then you get uh, a bit of thickness that can also be done in the same way what we were doing right now so select this keep on giving the connects so scale it push this up push this up select this give again a push in this way so once you are done with this so now let's keep on giving the bridge over here wherever it is required that's it so now you have this uh, element over here so if you want you can just take this I 
can just take this uh, load for example. I'll just ungroup it. Or oh, first, uh, I'll slightly rotate it. I'll go to the top view. Make it straight. Ungroup it. Convert to editable poly. Select the vertices. Select this. Select this and group it. So again, let's go into the hierarchy. We were only and rotate it. Again, mirror it, copy it, and X axis and slightly. So this is uh, the two different ways uh, you can utilize it to create such wardrobes over here. So that is totally possible. So that's the way you can uh, go up creating this wardrobes over here. So there are many other references you can uh, utilize it for creating wardrobes. So you can create uh, different different uh, objects also. So I can show you uh, the other way also how to create the stuff in the coming tutorial. So we will come up with one more video on it where I will be showing you uh, the entities which you can model it inside the wardrobe. you can just the same way you can create this over here so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here so please like and subscribe my youtube channel so we'll continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial so thanks for watching this video